so how are we going to use Google Drive in an Android phone? So let us go to Play Store and then type Google Drive and uh, open it. So this is what you can see in Google Drive. I have already files here. And let us go to this uh, portion and you can see uh, recent offline trash notifications, backup settings, help and feedback, storage 2% full. Then this is 443.9 MB use of, out of 15 gig use. So if you want to buy more storage, if you want to increase the storage, then you have to buy storage. And this is what you are going to see. Okay, if you want to upgrade to Google One for more ex storage and extra benefits, then you can have this. If you want um, 100 gigabyte, then you can pay 89 pesos per month. Then, if you want to increase it from 200 gigabyte, then you can pay 149 pesos per month. So let us try to see see more plans. So if two terabyte for 179, then terabyte 4,799, 20 terabytes 9,599, 30 terabytes. Okay, so let us go back so that is for the storage and let us go to the setting as you can see there we can see here the auto backup for apps if you want to backup and reset um, notification settings notification settings this one will have to tick this one on allow notification dots click this one if you want or you can have that one request for access make a sound uh, on and off comments uploads and downloads shared items make a sound request for access comments uploads and downloads and so that is for the setting. Let's go back. Let's proceed to the theme. So you can choose dark. So this is uh, what I've already chosen is dark. Let us try to uh, click the light. So this is what will happen if you are going to choose the light. And set by battery saver. So that one. So I'll choose dark. Documents, cache. So clear cache, remove remove all cache documents, then cache size, then transfer files only over Wi-Fi. So if you prefer to transfer files only over Wi-Fi, then you may check, you may click this one, okay? Uh, or if you do not want to transfer transfer files only over Wi-Fi, if you have mobile data, then do not check that do not click this one transferring files over mobile data may incur additional charge depending on your mobile data plan okay so that's it so i chose um transfer files only over uh over wi-fi since i do not have a data plan as of the moment okay let us go back um what we can see here um after the is it notification settings we're so done with the setting um how about backups so if you want to back it up then you may choose that one um offline no files available offline make files available offline in the files option menu
So we are done with that. Let us go to this portion. Okay, so if you want to create a folder, you may click this one and map. Try to type here the name of your folder. For example, um, activities. So create. So as you can see, as you can see, uh, there is already a file activities here in this portion. So no item has been uh, made yet. Okay, then... After doing that one, um, you can also upload file. So, for example, you have your files here on your uh, cell phone. You can just uh, click it. Prepare to upload. So, that's just an example. Huh? Okay, then you could also... Uh, scan if you want to scan a file you can scan so one example of um, and then you could also uh, use the google docs just need to install that one Google Docs, install, another, you could also have the Google Sheets, you have to install that one also, if, then um, Google Slides, so install if you want to use those Google Slides, Docs, and Sheets. So, for example, you already have a file, sample, this one, you can share that one to the person you want to share with, you just have to type, um, okay, who has access to the, you just have to type the, the email ad of that person. So, for example, I am going to share that to Ira Simangala. Then I will have to click if I am the editor. Then you have to check if you are the editor or you are the commenter or, or just a viewer. So, if you are just a viewer, you cannot edit the file unless you are the editor. Okay, one. Um, what else? Um, you can make available offline, meaning to say the file will be made available available offline and uh, you can work on that file while you are offline. What else can you do? Uh, link, sharing, copy link. If you want to copy that link and share that to um person you want to share with you or make a copy you just have to click that one or send a copy or open with or download rename add shortcut to drive or move data as an activity or you have to print add to home screen remove a report of abuse so that's that is what you're going to see in a certain file so I think that's all for the Google Drive in an Android phone. Thank you for watching. Bye.